Thank you so much to all of the supporters that make this channel possible. I am Subliminal and this is a Star Citizen's first look. The 400i is real and it is available to fly in a 315 PTU. In this video, I'm going to tour the exterior, interior, take it for a brief test flight, and try to shove some stuff in it. This video was recorded live on Twitch, but it is produced with the sole purpose of being a YouTube video. And be sure to stay tuned to the end to find out how you can win a 400i. Without further ado, let's get to it. I'm going to give you a first look at the all new Origin 400i and we're starting right now. So we've already seen this a little bit uh, on Morph Stream earlier today during the watch party, but I know a lot of you guys didn't get to see it. So um, this Down's is the new 400i. It is a little bit smaller than the Connie. Um, it seems like it's going to have a lot less room, but we'll have to see. I, I don't know. I, I haven't really been able to get in and walk around myself and get a sense of scale. Um, but I, I, you know, I do like it. Um, I'm glad to see it in white. During Citizen Con, they showed it with that kind of blackish. It almost looked like a misc themed skin where it was like metal. I didn't like the way that that looked because um, this is a luxury ship. It needs to be like glossy black, glossy white pearl white like there's a few colors that this is going to look good in and that one didn't really seem to look good it made sense for the video though looking back at it but um yeah i like the way it looks when i first saw this in the leaks i didn't but um i think it's grown on me a lot since it really does look like one of those sailboats it looks like this nose is meant for it to kind of cut through the water um so they really did pay homage to that so i really do um I do like the look of it. I do like the look. Um, I think some of the concepts that they showed, in my opinion, looked a little bit better. But um, it's this isn't bad. I don't dislike it. Uh, for weapons, I've been told that these are gimbaled size 3 weapons. You can put two size 4 fixed. You have one on each side, and those are uh, pilot controlled. And um, those are, yeah, those are the pilot controlled weapons. Um, then if we uh, let's take around let's keep wide here we've got the sides here I'm not even sure what that door does but we're gonna find out today I'm not sure if that's a door or what because I know you get in through the bottom um, this is the back of the ship of course we have um, these two uh, guns here I believe that they're gonna be shot by the same um, person in the cockpit um, but we'll have to see. We're going to check on that. And let's just take, do another walk around here. And then it, it looks like somebody's also been nice enough to park the other skin on the other side. So we're going to take a look at that too real quick before uh, Board Gamer takes that ship. Um, so there we go. That's a 400 I, I think I like it. I think I like it. Um, all right. Let's, let's run over to this other side here. If this is the one that they showed in the video before... It, okay, this looks a lot better than what I saw in the video. Maybe it had to do with the light from um, um, the lighting from the pyro moon reflecting off of it. This looks better. And you know what? Let's just be honest. They straight up went with this because of the Mandalorian. It just hands down. This is obviously they skinned this ship to be the same paint skin as Mandalorian, which is fine. I mean,. I'm wearing a shirt right now. I'm obviously uh, a fan, um, but that's exactly where that came from. They wanted us to have those vibes, and they figured, hey, you know what? Let's make this a skin for concierge. So um, I, it, it looks a lot better here than I think it did when I first saw it. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, it, it still does look like a luxury ship. Maybe that one in, in the, 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 uh, the trailer from earlier from Citizen Con was worn. Maybe that was something I didn't like about it, but this looks... It looks Self clean. It looks clean. Looks like we got a, we got another one coming in here. Let's see what it looks like uh, in the sun. I don't know if this person's watching my stream right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna mute the um, I have to mute the alerts, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, this has been battle worn. Is this the same one? This can't be right. No, this is another skin. This is the concierge skin. 
Oh, so there's three different skins. I thought there was only... Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, this looks better than that. So you've got... You've got the... The silver, the white, and black. Yeah, this looks a lot better. Nice. Wow, this is actually, like, really cool that all these ships just happen to pull up like this. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, so we've gotten to see um, all the skins. Wow, this worked out, like, really, really good. All right, so let's, um, let's go ahead and open up some stuff here. So... We're gonna open up both sets of doors. Now, one of these is gonna be for the X1, probably the Knox. Um, we'll try and fit that on there today. We're gonna do some testing. We'll try and get a Knox on there. I think we can get a Knox on there. We have to pray, do a prayer though. We can see a gray cat over there. Nice. So I opened up both doors from here. I'm willing to bet, obviously, the one on the left is for the. The, the motorcycle pad and then this one is for the middle one so that's cool um i don't know what's going on here can i open this from out there or maybe this doesn't open we're gonna find out let's go ahead and let's go inside all right so this is the interior all right so inside to our right here we have that door that i was curious about and it looks like a docking collar. Um, so that's cool. I like that. Definitely probably the easier way, I would say, maybe to get out if you're um, EVA, rather than going through the bottom, fuck, uh, messing around with the stairs. Um, so that's cool. Looks like we have a gravity generator there. Looks like the, you know, obviously a smaller variant of the one that's in the 890 jump. Uh, let's close the door here. And... Oh, I might have hit the wrong one. Oh, they need to label these. I'm sure they will, but I can't really remember which one is which. Okay, there we go. All right, so we have our floor now. Let's open up each one of the doors here. So we've got some weapon racks. Looks like we have six there, if I'm counting correctly. And we have what are probably like armor storage lockers. So we got uh, three armor storage lockers there. So that's really cool. I'll leave those open. Um, and let's go ahead and go into the rest of them now. We're going to the top door. I'm going to turn the sensor off so it stays open. And we're going to step down here. All right, so um, climate control. So I don't really understand what these rooms are here. We're seeing this for the first time together. Cool. Oh. Okay, okay, how do I open it? Oh. So we have our component access here. So we got... There's three coolers? Okay, well, we'll have to see. I'm not sure if, if maybe the coolers are like a placeholder for life support. But, and maybe the life support... But no, it could be three coolers and the life support could be over there. Um... Okay, all right. So we got that on that side, and then, ah, we got a door for this side. So on this side, we got shield generator, radar. And it's, I like the fact that they said that this is, like, they're putting emphasis on the fact that this is climate controlled, as opposed to, like, other ships. Oh. Large, size 3 shield generator. This is pretty good. I mean, it, this is going to be equivalent to the Connie and shield generator, but this ship is um, smaller uh in some in some aspects uh, in a lot of aspects it's smaller um but it's got a beefy shield it, it may be more maneuverable than the connie too uh it's not armed uh very good um it's enough you know i mean it's an it's a luxury exploration ship it doesn't need to be armed like a military ship but um yeah so that's pretty cool uh call oh this is to call the elevator but it looks like it's already here Okay, and we have, oh wow, we have a ladder to get up to the next level as well if you don't want to take that. But of course, we're doing a walkthrough here, so we're going to want to make sure. What are these buttons? Oh, did I break it? Okay, so you click this. I don't know what just happened. 
Oh, did that turn off the lights? Oh, floor light. What light was that? Oh, wait. <gasps> There's three different modes. Oh, okay, okay. Nice. So we kind of have our normal mode. Then this turns off. Pretty much everything goes into like a, maybe like a nighttime mode. And then I'm not sure. Oh, and this is like everything off. Okay. That's pretty cool. I mean, I love this new building block stuff, you know? Okay, so uh, the door's open. It looks like the sensor part doesn't work here all right or maybe it does and the button just cool 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 and so wow and you could do the same thing from in here too it's not labeled right now so it's it's um it's not very intuitive but but we're, we're getting it we're getting it um all right power plant let's open it what's the what's the next one what is this Ah, okay, okay. That's an escape pod. Uh, another power plant and another escape pod. Uh, anything in the middle? Doesn't seem to be anything in the middle. All right. Batteries. Okay, so this is going to be some more, more power. What is what is going on here? How many components does this thing have? Like, I don't know if these are like placeholder spots. We have the, the jump drive. Again, nothing in the middle and two more escape pods. It's got three coolers and three power plants. That's just weird. Um, okay, all right. Anyway, we'll talk about more about that in, in, uh, in maybe a, a buyer's guide or something like that. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and take a look upstairs now. That was quick. Can they make all the elevators like that? Like, everything is built so much for the, um, the, the aesthetics, the, the, the scale. I don't need to scale. Let me just get up the elevator. Um, all right. So we're going to do the cockpit last. So we're going to come up here and just follow around going left, um, and stick up, stick against the wall here. So. Um, we step into this room here. We have, does it label it? Probably does. Okay. It doesn't. That's fine. Um, we got one of the have rooms here. We got a bed storage locker and another bed. So we got two crew members there. Um, this looks like a captain's uh, quarters or something like that. Okay, uh, let's take a look in here. Storage locker for sure. Um, I love the little artifacts. Like this, is, this looks like a place where I could sit and chill, you know? Enter seat, let's enter it. Got a regular keyboard and mouse and a, a pen and paper. Probably wouldn't happen this far into the future, but doesn't look like this screen can turn on. Um, that's fine. Uh, and yeah, another bed. Can this turn on like the like the 300i? I don't think so. Yeah, so this is like a captain's quarters. That's pretty dope. So one thing I missed here. This is actually storage under each bed and I'm thinking that this is gonna be like for personal inventory um, so that's really cool it doesn't come all the way out that's fine okay and then back here on the other side for the captain's quarters we have the desk here that opens too. not a hundred percent sure if you're gonna be able to store anything in there maybe personal inventory um, I don't really know and there's also under the bed storage here for the captain as well. So that's pretty cool. 
it's small you know kind of humble oh yeah, yeah we're gonna go this way all right so oh nice we got a kitchenette Ooh, let's go that's cool so we got a kitchenette area look at that knives let's go pretty cool really really uh kind of vibes from the the 300 series oh nice little booth there for people to sit it's pretty cool and we've got like a, a cartography area as well um let's go ahead and spend our last 56 seconds all right so my ship was about to get taken so i actually kind of skipped this room here so i'm just going to cut this into the video um in here we have a storage locker so that's pretty cool and we can actually open this which at some point may be a mirror one day i guess um we have some products here some grooming products behind the glass nice um do we have a space machine let's oh yeah here's buttons wow look at all the buttons okay so close that's the main door open whoa we got tp for your bunghole so you can take your space poop okay now what's this door <gasps> what's that oh there's a plunger in there you can plunge a space poop and what do you push for this is this a a ladies uh a ladies bin little trash can don't flush those wipies all right just a trash can if i got to cut that out of the video did i f up am i canceled um all right let's um oh i closed it all right our last 56 seconds um in the flight deck here let's enter this first seat first okay so it looks like we're gonna it's gonna be two pilots so if you want to fully crew this thing you're gonna need three people let's enter enter remote to it yeah we got the bottom one here and i don't see this is not i love these buttons these are much better buttons much better buttons we're gonna let board gamer take this and we're gonna pull it back out these seats have they're so bulky in the back really are um we got some buttons here that don't necessarily work yet at this point i really love these buttons here like this needs to be like this on everything dude with the buttons looking like this you don't even need this text this is how they need to do it they, they've got to go over every ship and do this they just have to just have to this is nice so i can't manage the power i think that's a pilot only feature but i can go into items and turn things off in here so it looks like we do have what looks like three power plants three coolers and um we have the the turret weapons some of those are probably thrusters some of the it's kind of hard to tell what the uh, some of these other things are but wow okay cool so anyway mfd there but well, we want to look into the turret so this turret looks like it's the underside rear turret but i mean it also kind of shoots forward ish um so okay that's that's better than i thought wait hold on let me go back in that okay all right so, i mean it's got pretty uh, pretty cool coverage i think i see now why it's not slaved to the one at the top um i think i might actually want to have this separate to have a better coverage of the ship so that's that's good that's good so we're gonna hop into this one now we're gonna enter this turret and yes so with this we got full range of the back up we unfortunately don't have um very much view uh ahead but that's honestly not it's not too bad um i think you might actually have 
the opportunity to possibly shoot some of the targets that the that the pilot is um, is doing there. So yeah, so th this is really good. Um, and again, I love the where these buttons are right here. They they really absolutely need to do this to to every ship so that they don't need that text that pops up and you don't really know where to look. So, all right, let's get into the uh, the pilot seat. See what everybody's been waiting for here. Looks like we've got some. Oh, let's go, dude. I love that. I love that. Dude. It's like it's behind you there and it just kind of like 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 takes the, the HUD with you. That's that's cool, man. I can't wait to experience that with with Toby. Um, so uh, we take a look down here. We have again some more buttons. They try to put these actual buttons that you click kind of with the ones on here. But eventually these buttons will actually work and I love the design of it obviously I mean it's an origin ship right um, are we flight ready oh man there's we got MFDs loving it loving it I like I like the cockpit here um, yeah I like it it's not too obstructive um, yeah, I mean, I, I I like the design. A lot of this is taken from like the 300i, um, the 600i, huge, huge um, thing there. So here, let's take a look at the outside. Just kind of pan around. And of course, those are the other skins. The Atlas is sold here, PO. Yeah, so. Alright, let's um let's take it for um, a flight test real quick. Okay, it's um It's pretty slow. Oh, we got a medical rescue on screen. I'm not really prepared to do that just yet, but. Yeah, I feel like, I mean, I feel like I'm flying a boat. Um, it's smooth though, if that makes any sense. got a lot of a lot of boost and it needs it right I just spent half of it there to make that that uh, Yui but I'm, I'm pushing the throttle full full forward here with no boost this time I can imagine though that this flying in atmosphere would probably be um, a nightmare Should I leave that in the video or cut it out? I don't know. Engines on. Oh. Floodmaster is now following. Oh. Uh, Floodmaster, thanks for the follow. Oh God. That's what it needs. I mean, come on, what is it flipping for? Fuck. Okay, all right, all right. I'm liking it so far. It's stable, I just need to move it over the... Why you gotta do that though, you know, bro? All right. Is it is it good forward? No, I need to move forward. 
Oh shit. Hold on. Oh. I think that's about as good as I'm going to be able to get. Okay. All right. All right. That was a good one. Good one. Fuck, it could be forward more. Can I just push it? Can we object push pull this shit? Fuck, wrong one. I wish they'd label him. Okay, your mom is a big asshole. All right, I, that's not happening. I'm not even gonna try that. All right. Kind of gotta just fly into it. Cause like it's gonna rotate you. Okay, all right, okay, 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 okay. All right, all right. Um. All right, this ain't cutting it. Wait, does it? Oh, okay, well, hold on a second. Maybe I can come at it from the back. Uh-oh. I'm gonna fuck around and get a crime stat for this. Or wind up dead. Okay, that's not gonna work. All right. Eli track is now following. Why'd you have to move again, dude? It's just con it's just constantly being shifted outside of the. F All right, fuck it. I call. I'm calling it. So the, the, the G12 can be longer. Not very much more width it can go. Um, so yeah. People are saying that the one with the guns um, does not fit. So you're solely just gonna be using this to just drive around planet side if you're gonna use it for that. Are you, uh, are you prepared to possibly die? Let me know. I'll, I'll close, I'll close it up for you. See what happens. Oh, okay. All right. I get it. You chose life. He chose death. Oh, he made it. Oh my God. Oh my God, bro. I'm stepping back. I hope you enjoyed this first look into All the right. 400i. This month's ship giveaway is actually the 400i brought to you by CIG. There are 10 ways to enter, each giving you more points and a greater chance to win. To enter, visit subliminal.gg slash giveaway. Pro tip, the redeemed Twitch channel points can be done once per live stream. If you enjoy my channel, there are so many ways to support it, ranging from free options like Prime gaming subscriptions and sending out for UBC in the verse, sub club subscriptions, merch, to more generous forms of support. Head over to subliminal.gg to learn how. Your support in all forms makes this channel possible. Even your viewership, liking, and subscribing goes a long way. To continue watching, here's a video I think you may like. Here's a video YouTube thinks you may like. And until next time, citizens, I'll see you in the verse.